YouTube, how are you doing? This is Puck. Today I'm gonna show you a device that was created in 1974. 1974, that's really a long time ago, you know, and this device that I'm gonna show you is still playing. And what is it? Well, in fact, it's a Marantz Super Scope and it's the model um, CS200 and you will find out that these things you know are really rare you won't find them anymore this is vintage and you know everything still works I even played a tape in it today but then you know um, yeah in fact I was scared to keep playing the tape because I'm scared that this this uh, little wheel because you know the rubber bands inside are kind of old you know might stock up and then my tape get messed up you know I already messed up a tape a while ago in another cassette recorder so I'm kind of scared for that but the thing still works so let's take a look at this device this was 1974 people and up here you can see the plugs that we that we still use these days you know for uh, for record stereo line in and line out this thing has a line in and a line out and up here there's a little button and it's saying mic or line so you can use this for mic inputs or for a line input you see that it's a button there up here you can just put in your Philips cable Powered to 220 volts. Let me see. This is 220, 220 volt, 50 to 60 hertz. So this is a European device. Okay. And uh, here you have a little uh, adapter hole for six volts. So you can put in a six volt. And up here another button saying speaker monitor on and off. Up here you have a DIN connection and the DIN connection is for record and play. So if you're going to connect this thing to your amplifier you need, I think, I'm not even sure. You could also do it from here, I think, line out. Well, I don't know. This is so old. Here at the side we have another connections and these are speaker 8 ohms left and right so you can connect two speakers this thing came with speakers I unfortunately don't have these speakers uh, but this thing comes with speakers and you know you had two speakers that you could connect here with uh, the mini jack cable that we still use these days and um, up here we have mic left and mic re uh, right and remote whatever that is i think you could connect some remote control cable to this thing so you could like kind of on distance uh hit pause and i think play I i'm not even sure <laughs> and here at the front we had we had two buttons and they were saying uh, mono and stereo and what does this one say? And normal and chrome. So you could also select in 1974, they already had the little chrome and normal button. You know, if you would put it on chrome, it would have less hiss. You know, and here you have, uh, as I already said, uh, what was it again? The mono and the, yeah, of course, the mono and the stereo. Uh, button so you could listen into mono or stereo this is a left and right uh, balance button so this thing had a balance up here you have you have two condenser microphones these things they record really good you know so this was a very expensive device also you know this was not a device that uh, you could buy for uh, for 50 bucks this thing was really really expensive this was top of the bill I think uh, reporters and people that you know work for the radio stations 
and musicians at that time they had things like this you know and I don't even know how I got it I got it long ago at some second-hand market you know I love I loved at that time you know me and my girlfriend we used to go there and buy all sorts of crabs oh yeah I forgot to show you of course here on top you have the volume and the tone button but does this thing work is it still playing tapes let's take a look at that welcome back so here we can stick in the power as you can see a normal Philips cable and now my peeps I'm not gonna play the tapes too long because you know these tapes I have here these are very important tapes to me I still have to uh, digitalize them this is me and my band way back book experience I'm gonna in fact, leave this one open so I can see if some wheel stops spinning. Ready? Oh, <laughs> it still rewinds. Wow, what is this? Wait, let's. I'm so scared to play these tapes. Let me put this like this for you so you can see what is going on. I'm not uh, gonna play it too long because I can also see that there is some I think once a tape got stuck in here because I removed little pieces of, of 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 tape out of here so I think this thing is is playing a little bit uh, wowy a little bit like it's it's out of tone. Let's put in another tape. Could be the tape. It's running. This is a life. You see, when you do your things and stuff down, you got the art you got to praise the Lord to have mercy on everything that we do. Come on, Yeah, it's playing a little bit, uh, but it's playing, eh? <laughs> it's playing man. I mean like if we do some cleaning if we clean this thing up Then this thing just plays fine Because it has the power still Surinamers the drums Willie Darlington Willie Darlington Everybody was Darlington that played in my band at that time now it plays good. Just be brave. At home in this place. Caution. We say you got to have caution. Dang ding 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 ding. Caution. We say you got to have caution. When you think you got a lot, a lot of friends, you must see what them do, do with you in the end. They try to sit up on your end and treat you in a bad way. Never tell you in the face what they want to say. Caution. They say you got to have caution. Beautiful. I'm not gonna play this tape. This is a very, very important tape. This is a live, re live show from me somewhere a while ago with my band. You, you see, this is so old that the sticker that was holding this thing these are you remember these original stickers that we got with the tapes it let go of the it let go it still has a little bit 
well, it's not even staying anymore. This is so long ago. Look, this was my band. Can you read it? Probably you cannot. The Darlingtons. Yeah, man. And in fact, we are still there. Only thing we need are some gigs. And then, you know, I'll be on the road again. But for now, it seems hard to find some gigs. So we really need to find some gigs. But then, you know, this band is up and running again. Just like this old tape from over 44 years old. It's unbelievable. And in fact, this is what I also have. It's the original uh, leather. This was high quality leather. Eh? You can see that after so many years, this thing still looks like new. This leather. You see, original Super Scope leather case for this baby so you could also hang her around your neck look at this this peeps this was a device <laughs> fantastic eh? original super scope there it is and then you know they would have like a microphone like this and then they would interview people you know for radio stations with this super scope thing man wow and one thing i forgot to show you you can also pop in a high quality big jack headphone so you know i made a nice and long review about this device you know why because this is the only video worldwide from this device on the internet so it was worth it to make this thing still it smells fantastic it was worth it to make a review about this device and I hope you liked it and uh, for the youth of today if you go in your grandfather's uh, wherever and go and look maybe he has something like this go ahead clean it up Put some new rubber bands in it i'm also looking for someone that you know really wants this device uh to you know restore it into you know and keep it for future purposes so yeah we will see about that how that will goes but this is it the cs200 super scope from my rounds. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, of course, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and love to see you in my next video again.